it's the day after the concert, so um, we're both pretty tired. Mm -hmm. um, we got home pretty late last night, mm -hmm. all things considered, but uh, last night was truly something. It was great. Incredible. Yeah. It, this is like the first real concert I've been to. I've been to Hannah Montana. Awesome. When I was like seven. Best of both worlds tour, Jonas Brothers. That was awesome at the time. It does not even come close to this. So, this is part three of this three-part series. Mm -hmm. um, so, basically, we're just going to be giving like a concert review, if you will. Um, talking about the songs, Queen and Adam Lambert, what we liked, what we didn't like, things that happened at the concert, before the concert, after the concert, that kind of thing. If you have the chance to go see them still, you need to do that. Yeah, it really is an amazing show, isn't it? Definitely. It's amazing. I won't try to get this up before they have their final show, so that hopefully mm. if you see this, you're inspired to go watch it. Yeah. Well, so what should we talk about first? Mm -hmm. I think we should just hop right into it, um, because not a lot of things happen before the show. No, we um, we drove there. We went to eat. We got yeah. merch. This mm -hmm. is our merch. She got this little black zip-up moment, and I got this amazing denim jacket. Isn't it adorable? Um, so yeah, we went. We 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 got merch, and then we we went to the went to the the arena. And you'll see in the last video the clip. Of me freaking out <laughs> before we first got in there. But, um, okay, so we're waiting, and we, we sit down, and we're waiting for the show, and lights come down, and the, the show starts. And it, it opens with this, like, innuendo or orchestral? Orchestral? Orchestral. Orchestral? Orchestral? Um little ditty of innuendo which i thought was great mm -hmm. it wasn't i saw a lot of things on twitter about people like raving about it and it wasn't anything yeah. to like rave over but it was neat it sounded cool mm -hmm. um and then so the first song of the show was now i'm here which i'm not necessarily a big fan of yeah no. it was it was awesome live though that's probably uh. one of my top five like least favorite Queen songs, but it was it was still really good. It was great. Um, and then you know what? Let me pull up this little set list, Diddy, right here, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go through a couple of the songs that we liked. Okay, so it was now now I'm here, and then it was Seven Seas, Seven Seas of Rye, and I really love that song. I love it. I really except like it. I'm salty that Queen that you copyrighted my video. Yeah. All tea, all What's shade. What's tea, sis? <laughs> That was that was great, and then it was keep yourself alive. I love like the fact that they were like bringing in songs from the movie because it's like writing off the mm -hmm. success of the film. Yeah, um, which was great to see live. Um, I didn't really like the placement of Hammer to Fall. I feel like it might have been better placed later in the show, but it came mm -hmm. after. It was the fourth song in the set. Still incredible. So that was great. Um, and then Killer Queen. I didn't get any clips of Killer Queen. But I got. It was fun. It was. I loved it. it I got a, like a clip of it, and then my bag of stuff that I'd bought had like fallen off the back of the seat, and wow. the people behind me were trying to hand it to me. And so, like, in the clip, you can see me like turn around and it goes to black where I pick up the bag. The, hmm. So that won't be edited <laughs> in, that, in the video, but in the original, it's in there. What song did he point at us in during? It was during like the the gold suit moment, the first yeah. the first little section. I think it was in the lap of the gods. Was it? I think so. Okay. Because he pointed at us. Mm-hmm. He pointed us. at us. And I I have a picture, and I can insert it if you don't believe me. <laughs> uh, Killer Queen, and then Don't Stop Me Now. That's fun. That's fun. I like before that he has this little ditty where he's like um. He says something about like him not being Freddy and whatnot, so mm -hmm. I like that little disclaimer. That right before then, he's like, "Are you guys gonna sing with me tonight and make this about Freddy or whatever?" Yeah, it was it was nice, and so then it was "Don't Stop Me Now," which was actually it's not one of my favorite songs to listen to, but I thought that it was it was really fun to watch mm -hmm. <laughs> live. It was neat. 
And then uh, Somebody to Love. That was so fun. Loved it. That was so fun. The, the dun, 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 mm -hmm. find me somebody. That was great. Um, there's a video. I have a video of uh, after he does the somebody too. And then he like motions. Adam like motions for the audience to sing. Mm -hmm. And you just hear me go, love. <laughs> so that's great. I have that on video. Uh, and then <laughs> in the lap of the gods. Um, I thought it was really good. I personally don't like that song, but I, I thought I thought it was good. Oh, man. Um, and I on the studio version is that just me because I missed the the the, the really high part. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that's just that version uh, or if they cut it out or what, but it was not there. Um, and then we have I'm in love with my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I don't. Love the song. I don't hate the song. Oh, I I'm love kind the song. It's one of my favorites. A little indifferent to it, but we always joke around with that song, you know, because of the movie where they're talking about the song. But before the song even starts, I yell, "Yeah, Roger!" And this... it was piercing. <laughs> like <laughs> my my ears, it felt like knives going into my ears. <laughs> this lady turns around, and I thought she was gonna give me a dirty look, but she's like, "You go, girl," and gives me a high five. <laughs> and then there's a clip where. I scream with my hand on your grease gun, and that's like all you can hear. You can't even hear Roger singing it during that part. Oh, that's gonna be, well, yeah, that's gonna be fun to listen to. Um, so that was great. And then we had Bicycle Race, and Bicycle Race was nice to listen Incredible. to live. He came out on this like Harley, Ooh. and he was like laying down on the Harley and stuff. First of all, from like a singer's perspective, that's hard to do. Like laying down. Like, with your diaphragm, like, crunched like that. Because he wasn't mm -hmm. laying all the way down. It was like he had the good It was, like, crunched. And he was still belting the hell out of that song, which was absolutely amazing. Um, another one bites the dust. A lot of fun. Great. Another hit. Uh, Machines. It is what it is. <laughs> I mean, they brought Freddy out during that one. It was, like, a big... Like, Silver Freddy. Like, it looked like it could be, like, part of a coin, almost. It was cool. It was a robot. It was supposed to be a machine, I Freddy. Know. The song's called Machines. I know. But the way they had it, it looked like it, like, when they had it sideways, it looked like it could be on the coin. Oh, sure. Yeah. But that was cool. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know that that was a song. I didn't either. The <laughs> fake fan right here. Um, fake fans. And then I want it all. I love I want that it all. That was so much fun. I love it to listen to, and I loved it the, there. The guitar solo. Oh my gosh. Oh, where Brian mimics. Uh, oh well, the guitar solo in the in the in the song, but mm -hmm. before then, um, which they did this with Freddie too. But like Adam would sing a little ditty, and then Brian would mirror it, mirror mm -hmm. mirror it on the on the guitar. Mm -hmm. That was really nice to listen to. Uh, and then love of my life. And so here's the thing. I feel like I was a, a big instigator for this before because, um, so I feel like I was a big instigator for love of my life before love of my life because it was like, it was dark and there was only like a, uh, like a blue hue lighting the stage. Mm -hmm. And I don't think maybe it was because people didn't know like who was walking the catwalk. I don't know. But it was it was weird because like anybody who has seen any videos of love of my life from I would say from the time Freddie has died on knows that Brian goes comes to the front of the stage, sits on the stool and strums the guitar to that song and sings it. And people were like silent, not doing anything. I don't think and they knew what was odd. going on in the show yet. I didn't know I I think they didn't know who was like walking the catwalk because it was so dark. But people were, like, like around us, and, like, in the back I heard, like, woos and woos and woos. And then um, I see his, like, curly-headed self <laughs> looking down and walking on the catwalk. And um, I never, I never, when I'm at a concert, I'm never, like, you know, someone to, like, shout the artist's name or something. Because mm -hmm. um, I feel like that's weird. But... I finally got the courage because nobody was saying anything. And I was like, this is my moment. And so it was like, it was like kind of silent. 
and he was Brian was in line with our row, which was like the eighth row. He was in line, and um, I was like, "Yeah, Brian!" And uh, everybody started cheering, and there was like a spotlight that hit him, hit him and then he like started bowing and uh, waving. And so I feel like I was kind of the catalyst for that. Me and Brian May are besties now. <laughs> One, um, one thing I will say is I just that... love the fact that he heard my voice. Because he heard it. Yeah. Because I shouted it. I, I get When guarantee, nobody else did. I guarantee Roger heard my, yeah, Roger! <laughs> I don't know if he did. But, I, but one thing to note is that people at this concert around us, <sighs> I don't know if it's just because they were old, no offense to anybody who's of age. but Of age. Uh... They just didn't do nothing. They just stood there and clap, yeah. And meanwhile, we're having a party at, like Crackhead Central, yeah, losing our minds. And so that I think that's part of what added to the experience is that we we're both having so much fun. Sure. Yeah. So love of my life happens, and. Uh... So we're on, we're eighth row back from the stage on the floor to the left. And so Brian, we're looking at the back of Brian, which was fine. Um, but nobody was singing in our section. Because mm-hmm. I listened to other, I watched other videos from the night and like there were people singing in front of him or when he was looking out on, people were singing. But nobody was singing in our section. And so, um, the time comes where Brian, like, stops for, to let the audience mm-hmm. sing, and nobody was singing in our section. And so, I started singing louder, and I, like, got, like, my come on hands going, and, uh, <laughs> this woman turns around with a beer in her hand, and she goes, your voice is really good. Like, he, 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 your voice. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> she, there was a, the, that was the shorter one. The taller one. Uh, in the middle of Love of My Life, she's like, do you sing locally? I go, no. Well, you should. You should. You're, 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 you're really, you're really, you're really good. <laughs> and so I just like I was like thank you thank you I appreciate it um but yeah that was that was neat and then there was a woman the woman that was sitting behind me mm-hmm. had her phone out and she pointed it at me and she was like we got a local, local celebrity. celebrity here <laughs> cause I'm famous in Columbus Ohio I have a fan base in Columbus Ohio now if you're in Columbus Ohio hit him up meet and greet um <laughs> but uh so yeah that was great and then um Brian made a little spiel after Love of My Life about, like, how if you don't know the next song, just, like, clap. If you don't know, like, to sing it. No one knew the next song. It was it was 39. No one it knew it. It was 39, and nobody knew it. Meanwhile, us two are going crazy. We're, you know, we're we're going at it and singing, you know, every every word of the song. And people are just standing around. Clapping. Oh, Which that was a little things. insulting to me because that's one of my favorite Queen songs I know. ever. And that, that's another staple on Love of My Life. Everybody knows if you watch concert videos, that's right after or whatever. But they they always go together. Uh-huh. And I feel like even if you didn't know the words, you at least knew a little bit of the song. But everybody sure. around us was just like, "What's this song? Never heard it before." <sighs> I'm at the opera. And so, it yeah, it was, it was, it was strange. Oh, okay. After that, they move a, they move a drum set on stage to the end of the T and they have a little set there. The first song of that was doing all right, which was great. I loved that they put that song in the set because I love mm-hmm. it. It was incredible. Yeah. And Roger sang the, the lead to that and that was great uh, and then they went on with crazy little thing cool it was a lot not of one of my favorites though no, under pressure 
That was really good. Under Pressure is a song that I usually don't listen to on the daily, mm-hmm. but seeing it live, it was it was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I absolutely loved it. <clears throat> um, I think it had a lot of good energy. Yeah, like both on stage and One of my all-time that was favorite incredible. Queen songs. Um, it was a little underwhelming for me, though. I thought, at first, I couldn't tell what song they were transitioning into. That I think that was part of my problem. What do you mean? Like, when they went from, what was the song before it? Under Pressure. Under Pressure. Or a Crazy Little Thing. Crazy Little Thing called Love. Doing alright. <laughs> I don't know. It doing alright. It was doing alright. No, it was Under Pressure. It was doing alright. I have no. a set list right here. Setlist.fm, babe. Under Pressure was right before I Want to Break Free. That's oh, what we were talking about. Well, I'm right. Sure. God. Okay. Well, when they were, like, transitioning into the next song, I, they were just, just... I couldn't tell what was coming next. And I don't know if that was intentional or just because I'm stupid. But I couldn't tell what was coming next. Oh, that's when they had the disco ball. Yeah. They dropped down a big old disco ball. Mm-hmm. And that, that was pretty cool. And then what's next? It's a little... Okay, so we have a break, and then we have Who Wants to Live Forever. That was really cool. Which was amazing. I love how Adam sings that little climax. Mm -hmm. They brought out these, like, rainbow-looking lights that were, like, lasers that went Mm -hmm. all throughout the stadium. They were really cool. Yeah. And then um, Brian has his guitar solo, which was absolutely amazing. It was Last Horizon. Mm -hmm. If you listen to, like, uh, the... What is it? Like, the the Champions Are Back album. The We Are the Champions album. It's the album uh, when... I thought it was, like, New Horizons. New was Horizons. It, it No. New Horizons is the song that Brian wrote for NASA. Um, Last Horizons is a little instrumental uh, piece that Brian wrote. He did it when it was Queen Plus Paul Rogers of Bad Company. They did that 2004 to 2009, I think. Uh, don't hold me to that. But, yeah, they he brought up... He was brought up on, like, a lift. And these planets, like, dropped down. And, uh, like, moved up and down and out and in. It was, it was amazing. That was a song I thought I was gonna, going to pee my pants during. Oh, that's that's when it was a coming. Oh yes, for sure. But I I was just like I'm just gonna suffer through. I'm not missing a second of this concert for anything. There you go. That was also the song that I realized that someone had spilled literally an entire can of beer on the floor. That was the gay man. Are you sure? Yeah, because he had that big tall bed light. Uh huh. But there and then wasn't he... any in front of my feet. It was just in between us, and on your feet. They moved. Like, the got the guy switched. They switched. I noticed. So, hmm. maybe your excitement made him spill his beer. <laughs> it made me spill my beer, damn it. <laughs> oh, got to bleep that out. Not a good thing to say in this country. <laughs> um, guitar solo. And then we have Tie Your Mother Down, which I'm not a big fan of. I love that song, but I think it I think it performs well live. I've mm-hmm. When I went to Symphony on the Prairie, that's what they opened with, and it was really good. It's a nice and, little party song. Yeah. They used to use that song for their um They used to use that song for their encore all the way back in the nice the nineteen seventies. Tie your mother down. Okay, the show must go on. I love that song. That's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Great, 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 great. Um And then it was Fat Bottom Girls. I think that was one of my favorite songs of the mm-hmm. concert. Mm-hmm. It had incredible energy. The crowd loved it. They were loving it. Having the time of their lives. Oh, yeah. We were having the time of our lives. It was great. Yeah. And then um, Radio Gaga, which, of course, is so much fun. one of my favorite We had songs. so many people around us that did not do, do the, the clap. Yeah. Which I thought was bizarre. Well, I feel like they didn't know at first, and then when they looked around, they kind of got it. And they're like, okay. You know? Mm. I feel like all you gotta do is watch Live Aid to know that that's what. Yeah. That song, but. Yeah. 
Spo- or yeah, it was Radio Gaga, and then they their their finale was uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, of course, and that was cool. That was it was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I f- maybe they could have done a, a touch more with it, just because it was Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought it like so they did. If you if you've not seen videos or you know, haven't been to the concert, they do like Adam does the intro part and then the operatic section is all from the music video and then there's the operatic section and then mr brian may (laughs) arises from the stage lifts up and he's in this like oh what's he calls it his cyborg suit cyborg suit it's something if you have not seen a picture of it you need to look it up it's gonna be in it's like gonna be i mean it is in part two where he rises up from the stage and I lose my mind yelling because <laughs> it's so cool and like the first time I watched a video of it I think it was on his Instagram mm-hmm. I was like boy what, what you doing but I it love was it really that mask cool. that mask is oh everything gosh. and then they that's their encore or that's their that's their finale and then they drop the the little visor in front of the stage and um, it was a really short wait mm-hmm Because usually, uh, the concerts I've been to, there's a finale, and then there's like a freaking 10 minute wait before the the Mm -hmm. encore. This was like four minutes. Three, four minutes. But they dropped down the the visor. So the visor drops, um, and they play Freddy's AO from from Wembley. Yellow Jacket Fred. 1986, Wembley. I thought it was 85. 85 was Live 85 Aid. 85 was Live Aid. 86 is Wembley with the yellow jacket. Are you sure? 87? 86. Okay. Not a good thing to say in this country. <laughs> Not a good thing to say in this country. <laughs> uh, oh! They play Freddy's AO from Wembley Stadium, the yellow jacket. Mm-hmm. 1986. Incredible. Yeah. Like, the crowd for some reason... Like, I don't know what people were doing, because I don't know if people are just not a, on the same spectrum of obsessed with Queen as we are, they but... They were singing along. At first, they were like... What do we do? Huh? Do we just... Go we just Freddy, watch it? Go Freddy. <laughs> it's like, no, you're supposed to repeat. There's a pause for a reason. I'm really upset that I didn't get a video of that. I did, I think. You did? Pretty sure. But at the same time, I was like, I kind of wanted it just to be between... Like, it sounds weird, but I kind of just wanted that moment to be between, like, me and Freddie. But at the same time, I was like, I really wish I would have recorded that. But we would have gotten some really bad audio <laughs> if I recorded it. Um, and then the visor lifts after that, and the encore is We Will Rock You and We Are the Champions. Um, we Will Rock You was great. I mean, it's a mm-hmm. short song, so you can't really judge it too harshly. Mm-hmm. Um God, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, um, hold on. Mama. Okay. Okay. Ow! We gotta okay. get through this video. We can do it. Um, We Will Rock You, it's a short song, so you can't really judge it too harshly. I mean, it was great. It was Queen doing We Will mm-hmm. Rock You with Adam Lambert. Um, I mean, it was cool. Uh, and then We Are the Champions was phenomenal. Always. Phenomenal. And he messed up the words to that. I know. In, in Madison Come on, Square Adam. Garden. In Madison Square Garden, he messed up the words to We Will Rock You. I and haven't then seen it. Look here, it up. he messed up the words to, um, he didn't mess up the words, but he sang the wrong part at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. Instead of uh, going back into We Are the Champions, my friends, he goes, I have the world. And he wasn't supposed to do that. And he kind of laughed it off and whatnot. It was really mm-hmm. cute. But it's a, it's a freaking rock concert. You know, nothing I mean, has no to be perfect. No one really cares. Um, at that point, at least. But and then if you haven't been on the floor for a concert, um, if you haven't been on the floor at a concert that has like confetti cannons, you need you, yeah you need to like figure out what shows are having confetti cannons <laughs> and get floor seats because it's so disorienting for me. It's like magical just to watch it all drop, but 
Because it was like little white X's absolutely everywhere. Just falling. And they fell like so slowly. Like you just felt like it should have fell quicker than it was. But you just were looking around and the whole ceiling in front of you is just confetti. And you can still see them and they're still going. And It's amazing. It's really um, something. <clears throat> and then uh, they... This is what I absolutely loved. And then they... <laughs> this is a... This... <laughs> Nope. Oh, it's hot! Okay. <laughs> so this is what I actually... Actually... <laughs> she keeps me moo away. Shalando. Okay. So this Shut is... up! So this is what I absolutely mm -hmm. loved about um, the concert, is that a lot of, like, older artists, they'll, like, bow. And I absolutely loved that because that's what they did. Um, they bowed to God Save the Queen. And it was a nice little, like, goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus Christ. I got sweat in my eye. I have another clip of you saying that exact thing. Because it was, um, it was nice because it was kind of like a, a nice little, like, goodbye moment. A lot of times, like, artists will just, like, wave and be like, I'm out of here. But, uh... No, it was it was it was great to like and you know wave and you know say goodbye to. I I really liked the how members. they like pinpointed each member. Tambourine man. Tambourine. Tambourine man. <laughs> I cannot remember his name, but I, we were I watching a video the other day and we were like that tambourine guy's getting it and we saw him in person. I yelled extremely loud for tambourine man. <laughs> Um, and then they left, and Brian stayed on stage for a hot second. He kind of lingered and raised his, uh, his, his red special, and yeah, it was great. It was amazing. And that was the end of the show. And then when we were leaving, his little fan club from earlier would not let us leave. It was great. <laughs> so we are trying to walk out of our row, mm -hmm. and the... I can't. They're probably in their forties, if I had to guess, maybe fifties. No, probably. I'd say I'd say late thirties, early early forties. Yeah, I hope they're not watching this. I love you guys. If you do, if you ever find this, if you're ever looking for videos of the concert and you find this, bonjour, <laughs> hello. Oh my god, I hope they do. That'd be great. <laughs> Hi. I don't ever think that we. I really want to, like, ask for actual contact information for them, but I was like, no. <laughs> but I didn't want to be weird. We were, so we were waiting in the aisle, mm -hmm. and the taller of the two drunk women's like, do, do you know him? And I said, yeah, I came with him. Is that your boyfriend? Yes. No, that's my best friend. And then, what did you say? I told her... I exaggerated it a lot. I was like, I told her like I was like the gayest of the gay or something. But I'm like, I'm not like limp wrist or anything. I don't know if that's offensive. Um, but she, she get, she said, so, <laughs> who cares? And I was like, you just fuck you, you, ooh. <laughs> not a good thing to say in this country. <laughs> you just asked me. You just asked this girl if she was if she was my girlfriend. Um, two plus two is six. <laughs> you know, the math doesn't add up. So... No, sis, it does not. Who cares? You, you sing, you sing the sh out of that, out of that song. She didn't even say what song I sang the sh <laughs> out of. It's just well, you sang the sh out of that song. Because when I said, I said, no, he's my best friend, she goes, why? <laughs> why? Best and friend. And then when we're trying to leave, they're like, just sing us the song. Sing us a song. <laughs> she threw her arm around me and she was like, sing, sing something. something. <laughs> sing something. And I said, I can't, I can't. My voice, my voice is shot. And you're going to have to bleep this because I can't censor it. But she's like, I said, uh, I can't. My voice is shot. And she looks at me and she goes, that's a crock of shit. <laughs> that's a crock of shit. She said, no, no, no. When someone asks you to sing... You never know Do who's it. listening. You never know who's listening. Okay. Okay. And I said, 
we were talking for a little bit, and then I said, okay, it was, it was really nice to meet you guys. And then, like, two and minutes said, later... Bye, hun. Two minutes later, we ran into the people we came with, and we were like, yay. Yeah, let's go. Um, I really hope they find that, though, because I, I love them. If you're them. watching, hi. I love them. Comment on this. Yeah. Please. We want to get into contact with them. <laughs> um, but what other things were there to talk about about the concert room? How much we sweated? Oh my gosh, we were so gross and yeah. sweaty and nasty. Just like we were right now. We were literally <laughs> sitting in a sauna. My car window was fogging up. Yeah, it's she's, so hot she's killing us. She's trying to bake us. It'll, it's, would you rather have the camera shake or have us die and just be sweaty? So take your pick. I would rather have the camera shake. Um, Outfits on point for all three. Incredible. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I took a lot of pictures and videos. My Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook are incredibly annoying right now. Follow us. We'll put handles here. We'll put handles here. We are YouTube. <laughs> but if you if you follow me on those things, you, you are, you've already seen it. Um, all of the videos from the concert, I'm only going to put little clips of them in the part two because I haven't edited part two yet but mm -hmm. you don't need to know that mm -hmm. um because i'm screaming in half of them and i don't want to rip the eardrums yeah, out Roger. of my subscribers who are using headphones because if you do use headphones you're not going to be able to hear after the video so i'm doing you a favor but um anything that you thought could have been changed or improved I think that should have been an in incorporated part into the show. Oh, yeah. They should have just, like, threw me, like, a quick little, like, mic pack, and I, I could have just yelled it straight into that. Yeah. It was great. But we're just going to stop this video here. We were both sweating. <sighs> we need to get in some air. But um, this ther series has been fun to do. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, sorry part one was just a catastrophe. I don't know what happened. YouTube decided that it was just going to throw some weird music over my video. I don't get it. No. But the other two are not going to suck. At least I hope they won't. And I hope that you'll subscribe and come back <laughs> after all this craziness. But mm -hmm. thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow us on all our handles. Here and here. <laughs> We are YouTube. Links are in my bio, but thanks for watching and come back soon.